it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't even really like know what to tell you guys I've been doing because it hasn't been anything important. Um, just been, you know, getting my life together <laughs> or so I thought or uh, am still thinking and uh, you know, going to work obviously, coming home and playing Sudoku, S Sudoku, I always say it wrong, um, and just kind of chillaxing and taking some time to kind of get to know myself a little bit better and, you know, figure out some things that I want in life and how to attain them. So that's where we're at. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. I know the world has been super nuts, which has also kind of contributed to my not wanting to film, not wanting to, you know, oh, I'm sorry guys, I got something in my eye. Not wanting to film, not wanting to do things, not wanting to put myself out there, not even wanting to go on the internet, really. I'm not even that much on my social media. I'm gonna have to fix this eye real quick. Okay, that should be better. <laughs> there was a tiny little hair on it. Um, but anyway, the world is crazy. Uh, there's so much turmoil and bad things going on that I just get bogged down. Uh, and, you know, I know people are gonna be like, it doesn't even affect you. I know it doesn't. But the problem with being an empath is that you feel for other people and you want to fight for those other people and you want to do what you can to help them. And that's where I've been. I've kind of been in this like I can't just go online and talk about makeup and clothes like it just doesn't seem right so that's where I've been um, you guys know that I struggle with dating so I've been trying to do some of that during quarantine um, you know I'm just trying to put some things in place to get me to where I want to be in five years that's all you know so anyway today <laughs> After that spiel, I have this entire bag down here next to my laundry um, full of stuff to unbox or try for you guys. Oh, Harriet left, but the girls are on the bed. Hi, sister. Hi, teeny. Sounds like Harriet's out eating. Um, so, yeah, we're just, um, we're going to go through some makeup. I got Facebook marketed again, you guys. Tell me you're surprised. Oh, 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 okay. So, Tattoo Junkie is, hold on. Okay, Tattoo Junkie is a company that I have seen advertised quite a bit, but I've never ordered from them. So, they were having a sale, it was on Facebook, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna click on this. So, I now have a mess of things in front of me. I've actually already opened one of the things and I've been carrying it in my purse. And I got two of them. But this is a selfie light. Do I have to pull a tab or something? Hold on. Oh, it needs batteries. It needs uh, double A's. Okay. Hey, hey, can you stop doing gymnastics on that? Thanks. So anyway, it has different settings. You can put it on top of your phone. Oh, there we go. It goes on top of your phone like that. And it gives you some extra, like, ring light. I like these. Uh, I That's the only lighting that I used for a long time when I was doing videos. So let me separate these into what they are. Face, face. I... Did they send me double on accident? I feel like they sent me double on, on, on total accident, maybe. Lip check mirror, lips, eyes, eyes, brush, brush. 
Okay, um, uh, looks like I'm gonna be making a gift bag from some of this stuff because they definitely sent me more than I expected. <laughs> so let's start over here with the eyes, okay? Tattoo Junkie's really known for their uh, lips. Oh no, they're different. They're different colors. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not stupid. I swear. <laughs> so this first thing is an eyeshadow primer. So what this does is it just goes on your eyelid to prime the eyelid. You can see on the back of my hand, it's got a little bit of tint to it and a little bit of like shimmer, and it sets a really good base to be able to. Um, you know, put, put your eyeshadow on. Alright, this next one is eyeliner pens. I find that their packaging is a little excess. These two pens have this plastic thing and a box. They don't really need that. So this is black. Ooh, really nice tip on these. And this one is white. The white one's coming off more clear. Maybe I just need to, to use it a little bit. Yeah, I just need to use it a little bit. It's not, it's not showing up great though. So you can see there's the black and then there's two lines of the white. I'll have to store it upside down, make sure that it's getting where it needs to go. <laughs> Alright, this is an eyeshadow. This is Space Dust eyeshadow. This is Lady Stardust is the color. Sissy, get down please. Ooh, oh, these are really nice and soft and buttery, a lot like the ColourPop shadows. Let me put them both on to show you. The second one is called Starlight. They're like, they're not, they're not soft, they're not like a gel, but they're not like a super hard powder. So soft and so buttery. All right, so this one is Starlight. So there's Starlight and Lady Stardew. You can see this one is just a shimmer. This one is a glitter, but they're really pretty. These would be nice toppers, especially. Okay, this is called a lip and eye effect. Dip effects, dip effects brush, which is this, into shimmer powder and lightly dab onto lips, eyes, and cheeks as desired. So I got two colors. This one, this first one is called Money Maker. So it comes in a little pot like this. And then here's the effects brush. Having such problem with this packaging. Gosh. How have you guys been doing? I've been checking in a little bit on social media. Hey, can you leave these boxes alone for me? Thanks. Um, so here's the effects brush. Athena Marie. And then here's the little pot. can't leave nothing alone on this child. She's a rebellious child. I'm telling you, Mom. How does this I'm a, a rebellious child. Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna get glitter all over everything. Okay, so you dip the effects brush in and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top of this eyeshadow primer. Oh wow. 
Oh, wow. So look what it did on top of that eyeshadow primer. So this is the side that has it and this doesn't. It's like a loose glitter, but when you use this brush, it kind of goes into the skin. So it's not flying everywhere. Hmm. I mean, I still have glitter all over me, but... So there's that one. And then this one is called Stargazer. This one is more of a white diamondy color. Come on, bud. There we go. So almost like a white diamond powder. Look at their cute packaging too. So we'll give those a try. Um, this one I'm definitely, let me see if they're the same one. I want to say they're the same, but then I put them next to each other and I'm not sure. They do have the same batch code. These look the same to you guys. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this one aside and not open it and I'm going to open this one. This is the unicorn collection of the glow lights, uh, which is a highlighting palette. It's beautiful. So there's three colors. Are they named? They're not. Okay, so there's a pink, a gold, and then like a peach. And they're highlights, so you're not super gonna be able to see them on swatches. So we've got the peach one the gold and then the pinky one they're really nice they're just a nice uh, a nice shimmer there's no like extreme glitter in them which you guys know we've talked about i don't necessarily like um i got another thing of brushes this is two eyeshadow brushes i spent like a hundred dollars i did not spend that much so i'm surprised at everything that i got like i i, I know i ordered a mystery bundle and so that's where probably a lot of this came from. So there's these two eyeshadow brushes. One is flat and one is tapered. So that's nice. Okay, let's move on. I also ordered this mirror apparently. This lip check mirror is what they're calling it. It's really pretty. It's got like a raised beveled edge. And then got a mirror. So this would be nice to put in my wallet or in my purse. All right, the last set of things <laughs> is all lips. Lips, 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 lips. Let's start with the Sparkle Lip Paint and Effects in Happy Hour. Smudge proof, dries matte, it says. All right. So, directions. Start with... Excuse me! Can you two not cause me trouble today? It's not gonna happen, Mom. <laughs> Alright, start with clean, dry lips. We're gonna start with a clean, dry hand. And we're gonna put the lip paint on. This is the long-lasting, smudge-proof lip color in Happy Hour this nice mm, pinky red so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that on my hand for you guys oh my gosh jerks cats all right and then we're gonna take the effects powder in happy hour also I'm gonna grab the effects brush All 
right, so there's the color with nothing. Okay? So I'm gonna dip it into the effects powder, tap off some excess. Of course, the camera shut off right as I was doing that for you guys, but. So you can see the effects adds like a, a slightly smudgy, sparkly tint. It's kind of hard to do in the camera for me. There we go. I got it now. So you can see the difference between just the lipstick and the lipstick with the effects on top. I love that effect on this one. It's like a purple pink shift. So pretty. All right. Uh, Angel Dust Sparkle Lip Topper and Effects. This is devoted. Are you devoted? So basically this is the same type of kit. This one is devoted. This is already sparkly. Maybe this is meant to be put over a lip lipstick. Let's do that over here. I've put the devoted lip paint right here on top of the happy hour lip gloss or lipstick. And then there's it by itself. And then here is it, its effects powder. With no lip to get the interior out. There we go. I have bad nails. Help me, doctor, please. Okay. So this one is kind of a goldish tone. Again, I'm just going to tap it in a little bit, get some of the excess off. And I'm going to go ahead and tap it a little bit on the edge of this, on top of the lipstick one, and then on half of it by itself. You can see it's a very gentle move. I'm just tapping it on there. So here is the effects powder on top of the lip topper and the lipstick. And then here it is on top of the topper. You can't really see it too much on top of the topper. It's on this side. It does add some extra shimmer though. These are fun. This is like more lip experiments other than just like just putting a lipstick or a shiny lipstick, you know? All right, let's look at this Glitter Lava Lip Gloss. Uh, Y'all, packaging and I, we're not friends. We're not lovers. We do not get along. All right, so it's shaped like this, which is super weird for a lip gloss, I would think. It's got a Dofa applicator. Oops, I forgot we're on the other hand. Oh, it's just a really nice glittery lip topper. I like that they call it lava. Just a cute glittery lip gloss. Let me put it next to, I have this Jeffree Star one that I use a lot. Yeah, they're very similar. The Jeffree Star one has like a little bit more of a pink tint. See? But they both sparkle the same. I like that. I've been wearing a lot more lip gloss than lipsticks. And I don't understand it because I was adamant that I did not like uh, lip gloss. I was like, what's the point of lip gloss? You just have to put it on all day. And now I'm like, I love lip gloss because it doesn't last forever and I get to put it on all day. <laughs> What? <laughs> People change, okay? Opinions change. This is the glitter gloss 
in, does it have a color? Glitter gloss in bankroll. And this one comes in a tube and it's got this type of applicator, a little spongy tip on the front. So let's put that one down here. Ooh. This is pretty. Hi, sissy. All right, so there's that one. There it is. It's beautiful. It's this gorgeous pink unicorn color. I'm That one's going directly in my purse, like for real. Hello, I'm back in focus. How's your mom in them? <sighs> All right, the last thing we got from Tattoo Junkie is a lip trio, lip paint, lip liner, and effects. This one I'm gonna put on my lips. We haven't put actually anything on my dang face, and I've been sitting here looking oogly. I'm just kidding. Let me get this stuff out of my way though. All right. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I forgot I had it on me and now it's all over my face! Y'all. Okay, let me clean off my hand. So my plan yesterday, um, I, I had the whole week off. I was supposed to have a friend come visit and he ended up having, he couldn't get off work. And so I had the whole week off and the guy that was working for me, I contacted him on Saturday and I was like, hey, like my friend couldn't come, so I, I need, I'll, I'll just work next week. He's like, oh man, I already turned down a different job for this. And I was like, okay, well maybe like you can work Monday and Tuesday and I'll go in Wednesday. And he was like, yeah, that'd be great. So yesterday I planned on doing a bunch of filming and getting stuff out for you guys. And my roommate was home. And the stuff that I wanna do uh, I, I want to do some try-ons and I wanted to use the living room and when he's here I can't do that because I'm not gonna change my clothes out in the public domain you know so I ended up not doing anything yesterday except making a cheesecake and going to my sister's house because it was my mom's birthday yesterday so it actually worked out just fine um, so today my plan is to get a bunch of stuff done however it's already two o'clock um, <laughs> I left my sister's at like eight o'clock last night and on my way home, my friend texted me and he was like, Hey, are you going to be up for a while? And I was like, yeah, I'm off work. I'll, I'll be up. And he goes, I just had a really bad fight with my roommates. Can you come get me? We go for a drive or something. I was like, yeah, sure. So I went and picked him up and I just brought him back here and we ended up watching a movie and I took him home around midnight. And so I got to bed at like one o'clock and I slept until like 10 a.m. And it's now 2 p.m. and this is where we are. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna first take the liner and line my lips. I don't usually use a, 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 a lip liner, so I think I've used one like twice in my life. So, if I'm not doing it right, I'm sure you guys will tell me, but this is how I think you do it. Okay, so I've got my lips lined. Lips lined. Oh, I said it right. <laughs> and now I'm going to put on the long lasting smudge proof lip color in Big Shot. Was this also called Big Shot? Doesn't say. Oh, I love this color. It's like a really dark brown red, like brick. It 
It smells really nice. It's got a nice vanilla scent to it. Okay. So there we go. There's the lipstick on. And now we're going to take the effects powder. Just realizing it's also 2 o'clock and I haven't ate today. So I should probably do that at some point. <laughs> when I'm at home, this is what I do. I don't like... I don't eat when I'm at home. Because I get busy with stuff or I get distracted really easily. Okay. Let me get... We're getting a little closer now. But there's the lipstick on. It's a little bit patchy it looks like. But now we're going to take the effects brush. I forgot to bring you guys in earlier, so I'm sorry. All right. Oh, wow. It performs so much differently on the lips. Okay, there's the effects powder on the bottom, a little bit on the top because I just put my lips together on accident. There we go. I'm not sure I like that. Um, let me go do my entire face and then we'll come back and see if these lips work. Okay, so there's the full face. I don't actually hate it. I, I am a little distracted by the glitter in the lipstick, but it's not that bad. Okay, so the products I used, I used the Lady Stardust to top off, and I just used what I had here on my desk, uh, the Conspiracy Palette with Tanacon and Diet Root Beer. Um, just on my eyelids because it was like I said sitting here on my desk uh, I did my brows Glossier mascara I did use the black liner really good I tried to use a little bit of the white there just to see if it would show up and it, it really doesn't um, not sure about that one so yeah there's my my full face oh and I used um, I used the glow kit I used this pink color here for my cheeks for blush and then I use this for highlight so yeah that's that's all the tattoo junkie stuff that I used uh, get used to this makeup because it's gonna be on for a few videos and yeah all right thanks for swinging by I love you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I'll see you next time bye